Hello, this is a short introduction into how to hurt sheep. This will be a simple step-by-step -step process of just simply herding sheep and making sure that your, your herd makes it back home and safely. Here are some of the precautions before um, planning the trip to herd sheep. And please be a reminder that it's also extremely important to bring water. Step one, arrive to the sheep craw early. Step two is opening the gate, making sure the whole flock is out. Also, you should make the note of where you should take the sheep and chase them in that direction. That way, that way you have a good start when herding sheep. And also make sure that you also feed your dogs before going out on your journey. Step three is to make sure that you are following the sheep and that they are going in the right direction that you are that before that you plan ahead and that also make note that how many sheep that you have so that way when you return that will be useful to know that you have the correct number of sheep. Here's a reminder to remember that to watch around your surroundings and watch out for snakes, spiders and cactus and other hazards that you might encounter while you are following the sheep on grazing land. It is a good idea to make sure that the sheep stay together and then that they stay close by and not be spread out. Step four is to search for good areas with grass and good vegetation and try to herd your sheep in that direction and so that your herd will get full. Always remember that the sheep will drift off into certain areas and so try to keep them together as much as possible and not let them spread out too far into where it, it is hard for you to manage the sheep. This is a good warning for you to remember to keep your sheep away from road hazards, wild dogs and coyotes that might be in the area. Step five is once you are in a certain position to where the herd is no longer moving around and is staying in a good spot is to stay alert and keep the sheep together and enjoy yourself. Step six is to chase the sheep back and once you start noticing that the stomachs on the sheep and the goats start to get full. Step seven is to make sure that you have adequate water because when as they return they will be thirsty. Step eight is after they get done drinking water and then they are full is to start herding them back into the corral. Step nine is to, once you have all the sheep inside the corral, um, is to close the gate. Step 10 is to count the sheep and make sure that you have all the sheep that you have as when you started from the beginning of the day. Now you are finished and you are done herding sheep and now you can relax.